he's definitely right. You, you, we live in a world that that's how we were supposed to learn. We were supposed to be mentored. Um, back in the day when I was coming, we had on job training. That's all we talk about mentorship is OJT. In school, that's what they had, but they took it out of school, and I believe that's systematic, but we're not about to go down that subject line. We're here to talk about wholesaling and entrepreneurship, but you got to have on-job training, and there's nothing wrong with working with somebody. I know some of y'all young cats um, and, and, and young ladies think that, oh, I ain't, he ain't going to be pimping me. Listen, everybody got to get played in the beginning, but it ain't played. It's just learning. That's, mm-hmm. that's the hierarchy of, of life. And Robert Kiyosaki put in one of his books years ago. He said, go to work to learn, not so much just to earn. Because once you got the knowledge, once you got the knowledge, you don't, you know, and not so much you don't need them, but that's what we want you to do. We want you to be independent of us and be calling us and say, hey, let's partner up on this. Hey, I got a truckload of something now. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, hey, let's cut a check because he know you've been trained by him or vice versa with me with real estate you call me with a deal I know you understand how the system works so you're going to give me the numbers and I'm saying whether it makes sense or not right because you've been trained right so um, that was a great point of being part of an association mastermind but just make sure it ain't no bullshit because there's a lot of bullshit masterminds out here in Facebook groups but the only way you're going to know they bullshit is by getting involved as y'all like to say tap in Tap in. Right. Tap in. Right. Yeah. So the ball in your court, Mr. Bam. I, I really appreciate this, man. And, I, and I'm so excited about this book because I'll be, I be kicking that GPS for all the time. Like, y'all listen to everything else, but except somebody can tell you how to get there. Mm-hmm. You want to argue with me about everything. You sure cold calling work? Right. Motherfucker, I've been doing this shit for 45 years. You want to ask me, you sure? I like ask Steph Curry how to shoot a three. Right. So um, the deal for 110, so... So how did that deal come about, you know? You, uh... Alpharetta deal, divorce situation. Wife was getting a lot of the money anyway. It was about a $800,000 house. Mm. The wife wanted to fuck over her husband, so she let the house go for three fifty. Oh, man. So the house was worth more than that, so it, it was a no-brainer. Was and when no-brainer. I got it for three fifty, I started to keep it. And, um, and I should have, looking back at it, but... As soon as I got on the contract, I called with my associate. He said, I'll give you 450 for it right now. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I like, shit, that's you know, I'm like, you know, minus my clothes cost. I like, and I was like so excited about it. I like, I could have got more because technically on an $800,000 house, 65% is the number we use. Roughly, I could have got 480 or even 500000 because the house was in perfect shape. She just wanted to make sure he lost money. Yeah. Because she was, she was set on what she was going to get in the um uh the settlement <laughs> but they had to sell that house because she got like three other houses and, and they had to sell that house and it was up under her to sell it and she sold it so that he lose money <laughs> she must uh call him cheating and divorce yeah that's him what it, that's what it was you divorce know him before he called her cheating yeah yeah, with yeah. The cool guy yeah because that's what it was about he sleeping with his secretary yeah, and she and she told me that when she called, she said, I just I want. Hey, hey, they, they tell you they business like when you yeah. oh yeah you people people oh that, they tell that, you they business it's, they that's tell the fun you all oh, they and that's and that's the <laughs> that's other the thing you part. gotta learn how to shut up and just listen because that's what they really looking for they want <laughs> to fix out the situation but they want somebody to understand their pain or what they dealing with yeah. And that's and that's an art in itself. Cause sometimes when you're young, you just like I just want to get to work. Okay, 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 that's good. No, you gotta let them share all that. Cause she talked to me about three days. Even after she closed on the house, she still called him. I got his ass. <laughs> and I like. And that was it, the, the as they say the uh, the vindictiveness of a woman, yeah. a scarred woman. Yeah. And I'm not saying whether she was right or wrong. <laughs> I'm just telling you this is what it was. And I'm not saying that women men only one cheat. That's a whole nother <laughs> yeah. podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that's not true. Cause technically. Uh, statistically, we ain't even gonna go there because I don't even want to <laughs> start that. But um, but yeah, you absolutely right about people telling, sharing their business. Yeah, they said they want to share bro. it all. Hey man, if you if it wasn't all about the money, man, you could have got it. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's yeah. what's up. Um, 